Okay, so Deron and I have decided to get serious about this weight this weight loss journey. So serious that he is going to do a show. He has arranged to do a bodybuilding show in the upcoming months. Me, I just want to get back down to pre-baby weight. We're getting all the stuff out the car. We went to Walmart. Y'all know Walmart. That's our go-to store. And bought a bunch of healthy food. He bought stuff from his meal plan. You want to tell him about the, the meal plan that he has and your new trainer? He has a new trainer. This is it. I'm not going to go through all this, but it's called Ultimate Fit Labs. I'm trying to do a show, uh, a bodybuilding show, May 20th. But anyway, got my protein, got the ISO 100, whey protein, um, 110 calories, one gram of carbs, so pretty much no carbs, and about 25, 25 grams of uh, protein. 110, I think I said 110 calories. Got my amino energy, my workout, got my fat burner, react line, BCAs. So if y'all work out and pretty serious about it, have, you guys know what this stuff is. We got our broccoli. So, whole case of eggs. Now me, on the other hand, I'm still doing vegan, um, 50, 50, 50, like somewhat, sometimes, depending on what day it is. But I've been doing like a juice like a green juice i don't know some of y'all may have heard of her i'm sure and she's also on youtube but she's her name is jj smith and she started a challenge like a juicing challenge <coughs> green juice every day um for 10 days and so this is the green juice that i've had yeah it's been sitting like for a while so <laughs> and i kind of kick not like completely kick the whole vegan thing out the way but i was just like okay let me try something else because this is hard and her stuff is just really doing like a lot of greens in your juice and um making sure that you have like the fruit intake and even the flax seeds stuff like that and you do it like for breakfast lunch and even dinner if you do that plan but i'm doing breakfast and lunch and then after a while i realized okay this is kind of like being vegan like i'm not eating any meat i'm not eating any dairy because a part of it is you can't have dairy um so i'm like oh i'm doing vegan except for dinner more than what i was trying to do like on my own so i'm actually proud of myself and i drop down like an extra two pounds from the last time i told you i think i told you i was like 148 last time and i weighed yesterday and i am 146 so i actually lost weight from it oh and a detox so it, basically it's like a detox so so all of our groceries we're putting it up we're gonna get serious we're gonna weigh in take our measurements before bed because it's, it starts the real deal tomorrow right no bs yeah so now i'm gonna order a piece of that <laughs> he has some ruffle chips cheddar ruffle chips in the car like really like, yeah he wants to go out with a bang me i'm like why wait you know what let's do this now no Serious? You didn't close them, they fell. I did close them. You must didn't since they fell out all, all Oh my the gosh, Ron. So we have like bananas. Um, this is for Deron, part of his meal plan. But yeah, that is everything. We are, we're ready. You want to measure like right before bed or you want to measure now? What can you now? What is the measuring tape that I bought? All right, let's do this. Oh, Jesus, at the end of the day. 
149. Let's just round it up and say 150. No, I didn't make it to 150. Turn around. Hmm. Don't judge. I'm ashamed of me. Yeah. Just stand there. No, no, just turn to the side now. So four months post twins, okay? So four months post twins. I don't know. Not too bad, right? They ruined my body. They demolished my body. You ready? So this is what I'm trying to look like. Again. <laughs> What is we eighteen on that picture? No. First of all, I was twenty eight. <laughs> that was two years ago. Huh? Yeah, hold on, let's go. Look at that. And this was at the Phil Heath show. Yeah. Was this Phil Heath? Yeah, it's Phil Heath. Yeah. You were nice, babe. You were nice. I will say. Look at me now. Look at this. No abs. <laughs> Still look good, babe. All right, so let's see what we got. Dun dun dun. Forty six. And what is your goal? One ninety five. It's really crazy because we're supposed to be going to Vegas for our anniversary, and I think he's crazy to try to. Be in competition mode during our vacation. So, are you getting the measuring tape? Yeah. Oh, I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed. Let me suck in. Show y'all what I want to look like. Right there. <laughs> it's looking like this. <laughs> this is really gonna hold me accountable now. Because it's, it's out there. It's on YouTube now. Oh. All of y'all to see. Y'all got to hold me accountable. Check in on us. Check in. Say, Deron, Stephanie, are y'all ready? Have y'all been preparing? Well, Deron, have you been preparing? used to be a 29 he is now a 42. 42. my weights used to be a 27 and i am now what well if 29 was doing competition let me know you gotta get really small mm -hmm. i was I think we were 26 during the wedding i don't know and i'm 34 34 hmm. waist now yeah tragic because i know what i used to be if i've always been a 34 then i wouldn't be as bad because I don't think I look that bad but because I know what I used to be I'm not having it okay so it is day one of all of
of our meal prepping and um, I am about to try to get the boys dressed and well not really dressed but I'm late waking up getting them to my parents house because I was supposed to I was supposed to wake up this morning, have my tea. Oh, that's what I need to make right now while they're asleep. <sighs> have my tea, have my water, and I did not do that. I was so sleepy. And Deron warned me. He warned me. He told me. He tried to help me out. He told me to, you know, go ahead and get up. Like around 7 o'clock when they finally went to sleep. Where's my light? He told me to go ahead and get up like around 7 o'clock. They were asleep. No, I would say it was 8 o'clock. He really tried to help me out. He like did everything to get them dressed and ready to go. <laughs> and he's even like, hey, if you go ahead and wake up now, you can make your breakfast. And then that way, you can have them over there by 9 o'clock. And you can come back to the house and do everything you need to do. And I was like, uh-huh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I went right back to sleep. <laughs> now I'm rushing. Uh, <coughs> Ooh, this tea done flew in now. Now I'm rushing to get them over there because, yeah, I do need to come back to the house, study. Um, I'll probably work out over there on their treadmill or something. Um, edit a vlog for this week. And uh, I should have listened. I should have listened to my husband. Ladies, listen to your husbands. They're, they're right sometimes. So this is all the meal prepping we did last night. The whole house smells like food. This is just some um, quinoa and ground turkey that I'm probably going to eat each night. Because I'm still just having um, my green smoothie for breakfast and lunch. And then snacking throughout the day. Um, but my dinner is going to be... Like an actual healthy meal. Deron is eating chicken and vegetables, fish and vegetables, sometimes sweet potatoes. We like every meal. So that's everything, I think, to last him up until Monday. And I didn't think about I didn't think about it until this morning. Like, dang, we should have, you know, filmed, showed y'all, you know, how we prepared all that food. Because it's a lot of food. So, um, of course, we have to do it again. I'll make sure to film that day. And it's really good because I don't have to cook when I come home now, which is awesome. He said that's also his way of helping me. So, I don't have to cook when I come home. He's just going to grab, you know, one of his meals from the meal plan. Here's my green smoothie that I'm about to blend. It is spinach and kale. I have some mixed fruit, which is strawberries, mangoes, peaches. Um, I have some blueberries in there. And I'm about to put... Okay, y'all, this is my secret. My whey protein is rip protein. It has a lot of fat burners in it. This is how I got down to 120 for my wedding. I was, like, stuck at 125 for years. I haven't been 120, I think, since high school. That's my secret. It's out. It's a GNC brand. So, oh gosh. Man, not all of y'all gonna be walking around here looking like skinny bees. It's good. Oh, and it also makes you a little hyper. So, um, <laughs> if you need a little pick me up, there it is. And it's because of the fat burners that's in there. And this is not sponsored. So, but if GNC, if y'all would like to sponsor, you know, that would be great. I'm going to go ahead and put a banana, half of a banana in there because bananas have a lot of sugar and I already have enough sugar in there with the fruit. Of course he wakes up as if his feelings are extremely hurt. Hey, 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 both of y'all. Hey babies. Mwah. 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 Why are you so upset? Why are you wake up so upset? Yeah. Tell them why you woke up so upset. 
You too. No more crying, okay? So, I'm really excited about this weight loss journey though. I'm excited for Duran to do another show. I know he is happy or at his happiest when he's fit and in shape and in competition mode. I'm happiest when he's fit and in competition mode. <laughs> no, just playing with me. When I'm fit and, you know, it's good to feel good about yourself. And you have to be careful, especially ha after having a baby, because that postpartum depression is real. And with me, that did play a part in me not feeling good about myself, but also, um, you know, with the body change. Not saying that, oh, my body was horrible. Absolutely not. But it's an adjustment. You know, when you have a baby and you look a way that you didn't look before, that whole thing is definitely, it can play a, a big role and a big um, part and messing with your psyche like you can it can mess with you and that was messing with me so I think my the key thing for me to get emotionally back to where I was um, is to try to normalize as much as I can in my life which is also including my body um, normalizing my social life getting that back to the way it was normalizing you know my nightly routine even though that's gonna be different because I have two little ones now and <laughs> their nightly routine is much more important than mine it still you know it helps when you can get back to some normalcy in your day and working out working out was definitely I mean it was an everyday routine for me and Duran and so when that start to fade it was hard and so we're, we're getting back to that and especially eating healthy because having twins who has time to eat healthy you know who has time to cook go and grab something but we're slowly we're getting back we're finding ways so last night when we prepped Duran's brother Uncle Ron came over and you know we prepped as he watched the babies. I'm always preaching to y'all about using resources and I need to preach the same thing to myself. Use my resources and he lives right up the street so definitely using our resources so that we can get back to what we do. I'm, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm happy about having a new meal plan. I'm happy that Deron has a new meal plan that doesn't involve me cooking. So, it just, it feels good, it feels good to feel good about yourself. Hey y'all, aren't y'all like proud of them? They're hon holding their own bottle. Holding your own bottle, baby. These little attachments, a lifesaver. I mean... <sighs> They are great because they kept trying to hold their own bottles, but they just couldn't get a good grip. So the Tommy bottles make little attachments for handles and they can feed themselves <sighs> every day. It gets a little better every day. I get a little wiser. <laughs> Stop playing with your food. I constantly have to tell him to stop playing with his food. He is going to be the one that's always playing with his food. Stop playing with your bottle and eat, man. So, Antonio is trying to turn over. <laughs> We're whispering because this one is over here asleep. But we can only get him to do it if he touches his nose. He hates for us to touch his nose. And so, <laughs> whenever we touch his nose, he tries to roll over like, okay, I'm going to get y'all. He's so close. You're so close, baby. I know if he was on a flat surface, he would be able to do it, but... 
I have to learn how to do it in a bit. <laughs> Come on, just push off that leg. You got that leg in the right position. She's trying to hit you. She is trying to hit me. President, baby. He was president mm. while you were born. Never forget it. Even if the schools don't teach you, never forget it. Mm. <laughs> I hear you breathe, but I can't see. If you're right here next to me, something's wrong. Wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? 